she wouldn't even have a father. Whatever you do, don't. Death has come to you, little town sheriff. If you enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss a video in the future. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Friday the 13th of Game video. Today we are giving you guys a complete guide to the Virtual Cabin 2.0. Now this thing was a major pain to figure out, but I will tell you that the reveal that comes with it is quite amazing. So if you want to figure it out by yourself or not be spoiled, step away from this video. Now like I just said, spoilers lie ahead, but with that, Let's dive right in. First of all, the first step involves discovering a password for the computer found in the main room. This password can be discovered by solving word guesses found in the back of newspapers and magazines throughout the cabin. Now, I'm not going to explain each answer along the way, but rather explain the overall solution. The main thing to pull from the step is that the password for the computer is mother. Once you put the password in the computer under the check for update section, the cabin will update from 1.0 to 1.1. Now adding a downstairs display room, searchable furniture, an inventory, the ability to crouch, as well as a working telephone. Now you'll notice a board in the kitchen that has four empty slots. You'll have to complete four different objectives in order to unlock patches for these slots. The first one involves recreating scenes from the ends of part three and Jason Goes to Hell. Head to the Jason Goes to Hell diorama and grab the figures that are displayed on it. Then head to the basement display room where the part three diorama can be found. Grab the figures off this one as well. You'll also need Chris's figure, which can be found in the bathroom with Jenny inside of a box. Take all these figures and return to the part three diorama. Now you just have to put the characters in order, starting from left to right with Allie, then part three Jason, and then Chris. Then head back to the Jason Goes to Hell diorama, and from left to right, add Jessica, J9, and then Steven. This will open a drawer beneath the display, revealing a patch. Go ahead and bring this patch to your inventory, and then let's move on to the next one. Now this next step involves putting Jason's mask in order, but first you have to find part 3, 7, and 9's mask. Part 3's can be found in a box in the basement display room, part 9's can be found in the fireplace hidden in the chimney, and part 7's can be found in the tent within a small box. Once all these are collected, bring them to the wall where the other masks are displayed and collect those as well. Now you'll put the mask in order from part 3 to part 9. Once these are in order, remove the part 5 mask. This will open a drawer next to the mask, revealing another patch. Collect this, and let's move on to the next step. The next objective involves putting specific items on podiums found throughout the cabin. You will need the red bandana found within the bathroom, an officer badge found within the basement display room, a yo-yo found within the closet in the upstairs bedroom with a tent inside a small box towards the bottom of the closet. Then, the hat Crispin Glover wears in part 4 can be found right next to the front door on the coat rack. Now head back to the basement display room and put the bandana on the podium inside. Then, you can head upstairs and add the police badge to the podium found within the bedroom. From there, head into the item display room and add the yo-yo to the podium. And then last but not least, head to the back door past the kitchen and add the Crispin Glover hat to the final podium. This will then reveal yet another patch. Collect it and let's move on. Now the last patch was a tricky one to find out. You have to call a specific number on the phone. This involves finding several objects across the cabin with blue numbers displayed on them. Now like I said before, this was a very difficult process, so rather than explaining the whole bit to you, I'll just reveal the number directly. The number you want to enter on the phone is 1 5 5 5 3 4 2 9 2 7 7. After the call ends, the last drawer will open up, revealing the final patch. Now head back to the kitchen and add all the patches to the board. Once this is complete, the wall next to you will slide away, revealing a secret room. This one being the Jason room. You'll hear a phone ring towards the end of the room, go ahead and answer it, which will leave you with a final screen saying that you completed the virtual cabin. Let down? Well, don't be, cause it's not over. You'll be taken back to the main menu now. Go ahead and head back into the cabin, then head back to the computer and access the change the date prompt. Now change the date to June 13th, 1979. You will now hear the phone ringing once again from the Jason room. Head back down to answer it. You will then be greeted by a terrifying voice from Pamela Voorhees and will be led through a very exciting animation. Once you are able to move again, make sure you look at the axe stuck in the wall. This will leave your character in a temporary hazy state. Once back to normal, you'll notice that the part three Jason has broken free from his glass display now on the loose. 
Follow them upstairs to Chad and Bugsy, where you'll find their dismembered bodies. From there, head back downstairs to the room where Kenny and Tiffany were hanging out on the hammock. You will now find Tiffany's dead body, but if you look in the back of the door, you'll discover Kenny's body hanging from the door with a key around his neck. Take this key and then head back to the front door, which has now been destroyed by Jason, leaving you free to explore the outside. Once out the door, head directly to the right where you'll find a shed. Use the key you just found on Kenny to unlock it. Inside, you'll find a shovel. Add this to your inventory and start heading to the graveyard. Inside the graveyard, you'll notice Jason's tombstone and a pile of dirt. Head to this pile and use a shovel to dig it up. This will then reveal a casket with part 6 Jason inside. From there, head to the right of the grave where you'll find a loose fence post. Take this post and head back to the grave. Use the fence post on part 6 Jason. This will then cause a lightning strike to hit, which will ultimately resurrect him. After he kills you and you respawn, go back to the grave where you'll find another patch. Now after you collect the patch, head down the path from the cemetery. In the middle of the path, you'll find a sign that will mark a side path away from everything else. If you head into the path, you'll have to be extremely careful with your movements, since Jason will come and kill you if you go off course. Once starting on the path, follow the machete on the ground to the right until you reach a tree with a heart and an arrow with B plus C on the inside. From there, turn left and head directly straight down the path until you reach a yellow arrow stuck inside of a tree. Turn where it appears that the arrow was shot from. If you look closely, you'll just see a duck on the ground. Now, head straight at it. Once you reach it, turn directly to the left, where you'll see a small dirt pile across the woods. Walk straight at it. Now, once you reach it, use your shovel to interact with the pile. You will now dig up the body of a dead dog, while also revealing another patch. Now, for the final patch, you'll have to unlock a fridge found by the car next to the cabin. This was another tough one to find and is very difficult to explain, so rather than diving into that, I'll just reveal the code to you, which is 5312. Inside the fridge, you'll find Pamela's head. Collect it and then head towards Jason's shack. Interact with the shrine found inside and add Pamela's head to it. This will then reveal the final patch. Now, head to the beach where you'll find a gas canister inside of a glass display. Interact with this display and add your three patches. This will now let you grab the gas. Once you have it, take it to the boat and add it to the engine. You will now ride off into the water, getting a great cutscene that is amazing to fans of the films. You will now get another You Completed the Virtual Cabin screen. But wait, it's still not over. Head back into the Virtual Cabin. While in the cabin, use the Konami code to reveal the debug menu. The Konami code is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, or OX on PlayStation. This may be different on PC, but we won't know until the patch officially drops on Steam. Now with the debug menu in your top left corner, click on Map Collision. This will change it from on to an unknown air. Then click on show collision, which will change it from off to on, revealing the collision items across the cabin. Now head back to the basement display room where you'll find a red door seen from earlier, but it's now glitching. Simply walk through the door and head into this random room with no real textures. Now I can't really explain what you're seeing here, but interact with the radio in the room to hear this. We spent a lot of time tuning the game to make sure it was fun to play as a counselor, and we knew we had it when... <laughs> Funny guys, hilarious. How long have you been waiting to play that for? Anyways, we finally... Oh, shit! <laughs> Kane, that's dope. You got me. Oh, careful, bro. Your knife is dripping on the... Oh, my God, he's diary me. Uh, oh. 
Now that that's complete, grab the two patches in the room. This will cause your game to glitch out and you will reload the cabin. Now you'll have to follow the trail patches down the stairs where Elphonic Chuck will be thrown through a window. Interact with his body to flip him over. After this, start following the patches once again, which will lead you back to the Jason room. Now, all the displays will be broken and some Jasons will be holding patches in their hands. Grab these from them until the last one grabs you and kills you. The game will now reload with the Jason room now lacking all Jasons. Once again, follow the path of patches all the way upstairs to the coming soon door found on the second floor. Now you simply walk your way through the doors, but I'm going to let this footage speak for itself. So there it is, Virtual Cabin 2.0 completely finished, but more importantly, the insanely epic reveal of Uber Jason and the Grendel map. Now I could not be more excited for this content, so let's hope the wait isn't too grueling. Alright guys, what did you think? Please let me know if you have any questions. Trust me, I know that Virtual Cabin 2.0 can be quite confusing, so don't hesitate to ask. With that, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.